Good morning, it's July 30th, 2011. Welcome. A quick note, what I've seen so far. For those of you who think that I don't understand that the whole uh, boner fiasco was a dog and pony show, I do. What I didn't understand, or what I was trying to get to, to find out, was exactly what is going on that they're trying to uh, cover up with this fiasco. And uh, basically what it boils down to, I saw in a note today, as somebody pointed out primarily, it's that they have not been able to uh, uh, increase employment in the United States. I mean, and that is the big issue going on. If uh, the millions who are out of work were not out of work, then they would have the tax revenue. The burden, uh, the tax burden in the United States primarily does fall upon the middle class more than any other uh, socioeconomic group, and that's a, a given, has been for quite some time. And the lack of economic growth and the lack of replacing those jobs means that uh, the tax revenue is falling short, not only at the federal level, but at the state level. And that is what this is all, all about, really. They haven't been able to create jobs. The time to create jobs, however, uh, is not now. I don't know how they can turn this mess around, and I don't see Obama doing that at all. And I certainly don't see this uh, Tea Party Congress doing that whatsoever. Uh, the time to uh, create jobs was back in the first hundred days of the Obama administration, and he wasn't able to do it. It was plain and simple. Uh, won't really get into the reasons why. It's kind of past history now. He simply wasn't able to do it. He went the wrong way. So what do we have now? We have uh, the Tea Party backed Congress. And we have a president who is a Democrat who is trying to do his damnedest to be a centrist because he knows he has completely and utterly um, violated the trust of his base. And that's why the dog and pony show will the U.S. default on its loan obligations? I don't know. I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. But uh, so far, you know, that's the real issue: is not you know, the safety net. It is the fact that there are too damn few jobs out there. Sunday, July thirty-first, two thousand eleven. This is Cliff Potts. Thank you for tuning in. Real quick, little thing. I have been busy with life today, so I have not been paying much attention to the news. The only thing I can tell you is, as best I've been able to glean, is as, as of right now, the House and the Senate are trying to come to grips with how to raise the debt ceiling for the United States. Uh, I firmly believe it will be raised to the tune of $1.3 trillion dollars before August 2nd and life will go on in spite of all the drama for this past week. This nonsense, as I said yesterday, basically seems to be a cover-up because they cannot address the primary issue in the United States, which is the job creation issue. It's come to, uh, I've come to the conclusion that for the most part, uh, Congress doesn't know how to create jobs. Because in a capitalist system such as ours, politicians do not create jobs. And they don't know what to do. Anyway, that's it for a Sunday. Thank you very much for your time. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, moms and dads, it is August 1st, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. I started my new job today, and that is about the biggest news I can give you. As far as the debt ceiling bill they were working on, whatever the thing is officially called, it looks like they passed something. Uh, most of the liberals are decrying it. The conservatives saying they got what they want. And that's politics as usual in the United States. 
Anyway, that's it for me. I just thought I'd make my little news known. Talk to you later. Have yourself a good one. Bye-bye for now. It's uh, Tuesday, August 2nd, 2011. The date that the government is supposed to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, go, uh, go into insolvency on its debt. I guess they managed to bail themselves out. I have a new one. I the link is very long, and I'm not going to be posting it, so you're going to have to look it look for it. It's uh, from time. It was posted in Yahoo. It turns out that the B of A, the Bank of America, has decided to rather than uh, to hold on to some dis distressed properties that they are going to bulldoze them. <clears throat> According to the story, the uh, B of A has already donated 100 homes in Detroit and 150 homes in Chicago and may add as many as nine more cities by the end of the year. Now, when the story says homes, they're not homes. What they are doing, according to this story, is they are dem demolishing uh, the property and donating the uh, homes. To various cities. This is an effort to keep the housing market from collapsing. Uh, Wells Fargo has donated 800 homes to be demolished. Uh, it, it says that they're demolishing the homes and then it goes on to say that they're donating the homes. Let you look it up. I have to uh, get ready for work here. Have yourself a good day. I will talk to you later. Bye bye. Good evening, this is Cliff Potts. Same day. It's uh, Tuesday. The job's going about as well as can be expected, considering I'm still in training and will be for the next four weeks. Came home, popped on my uh, internet, and lo and behold, now we have headlines about a super congress who will put together a package to cut $2 trillion from the <coughs> U.S. budget which will then be sent to Congress to either vote it up or down. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Extra constitutional bodies of government? <laughs> now, mind, mind you, now, now, now understand this, okay? Let's, let's really grip with this. This is part of the Republicans' proposal. These are the same Republicans that want smaller government. <clears throat> now they've all of a sudden added this extra house to Congress? <laughs> oh, God. You gotta love the dog and pony show. You really gotta love it. And, and quite frankly, with the economy being the way it is, this is not the time to do it. Okay? It's just not the time to do it. Ah, wonderful news to come home to, huh? <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. May your God go with you. Bye-bye. It's Wednesday, August 3rd, 2011. About the most interesting thing I came across happened to be in Twitter yesterday. Evidently, the uh, anonymous operators have discovered that the media in Australia is basically commercially suppressing what is acceptable in written works. And they are complaining that... Uh, the, uh, how do I say this, that uh, Australia is now following in the footsteps of the United States. Uh, I posted to them the links from uh, right in dash right on uh, to the books that have been completely ignored here in the United States that I wrote. One of the funny things about that comment is that good old Rupert Murdoch is an Australian citizen, and he, among all others, is the most oppressive of works that are not approving of his conservative agenda, and he will do his damnedest to bury them. So, anyway... So while Anonymous Ops wants to blame the U.S., I think they'd better look a little closer to home. 
Thursday, August 4th, 2011, Cliff Potts. It has become apparent to me exactly why it is that political change is brought about by the youth. Quite frankly, they are the only ones who have the time to do the research to find out what's going on and demand change. Those of us who work for a living are really hard-pressed just dealing with life as it exists. That's why the only two factions or subcultures in the United States that have any hope of making change are those who are wealthy enough to invest their time into making things happen and the youth who are in school. Working folks like myself right now find it difficult at best to keep track of the political shenanigans while taking care of the demands of a real life that finally has been driven home to me. Good morning, it's Friday, August 5th, 2011. Welcome. Well, I'm going to end this one for the week. In closing, the one thing I'd like to say is happy birthday, Obama. Um, there's one thing. The uh, GOP got 98% of what it wanted out of Obama. This is per boner himself. And uh, the markets had the worst day uh, since the dep uh, depression started back in 2008. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the business community actually thinks about the uh, GOP plan. They're concerned about when their taxes are going up, and there's too much uncertainty. This is according to the talking heads on WGN here in Chicago. Truth of the matter is, they don't know what they are doing, and they don't know what the direction of the country is. And I doubt if taxation's got all that to do with it. We don't have strong leadership in the United States, we have bullies, fighting schoolyard games for ultimate one-upsmanship. Anyway, that's it for me, as it is a Friday, Shabbat Shalom, if you observe it, and I will talk to you later. May your God go with you. Bye-bye for now.